going to apply a bit of pressure here and we're just going to go forward and backwards a little bit. Again, into the belly of the muscle and into the lower attachments towards the ankle. And if George didn't have me there, he could put this leg on top, squeeze the legs together a little bit. You have to be nice and strong through your shoulders. You want to let the pelvis drop down. So you're going to maximize your hamstrings a little there as well, which is all fascially connected. And just roll it to the ankle, to the back of the knee. And just come back again on the belly and take that off. Add one more thing. I'll get you to sit down with this one. That's it. And from here, I'm just going to get you to bend the knee there, George, and then straighten and flex. A little bit of pressure downwards and flex it up. Like you're really driving down and then flexing it back up. It's like you're digging your toes into sand and then flex it back up. Good. As you do that, your extensors are on, which means your flexors on the top are off and your calf muscle hopefully at the back's lengthening out. It's a little bit neural, so you're getting a bit of a neural um, mobilization there at the same time as you're ironing out the connective tissue of the calf. Spend a, you could probably spend a couple of minutes doing that on your calf and then changing sides. You want to compare, obviously we do have one side that's probably a little bit stronger than the other and spend a little bit more time on the, the tighter side.